Hello everybody, welcome to How in Charge. So today we will learn how what is pivot table and how is it used in Microsoft Excel. Uh, so uh, let me tell you uh, what we are going to uh, learn today. Here, uh, here is some data. Here are the name of some managers. Here is their allotted section. Here is here are the departments in which they work. Here is the product that they sell, and here is the sales value that they have achieved in this year. The managers. Okay. Now let's say somebody asks from us that uh, tell me the sales value, to the total sales value of the managers of Group A. Now uh, getting this data, for, uh, getting this data from uh, this table is very difficult. We will have to get the values of all the Section A managers and their sales value, and then sum them up. It will be a very complex thing to do uh, individually. So what we are going to do is we will apply a pivot table on this whole table and Microsoft Excel will do everything for us. Here we go to the next sheet where I have applied the uh, pivot table already. I will select the sections. Here all the sections will appear and then I will select the sales from this and it will get us the sales value. So uh, this is the sales value of group A, group B and group C and this is the total sales that we have achieved in this year. So that's really simple isn't it? So let's start working. Before moving into the details of the video, do subscribe to our channel as it helps us grow. Thank you and keep watching. Okay. So as I've already told you, these are the name of the students, sections, oh sorry, these are the name of the some managers, sections, departments, products, and there is sales value. Now what we are going to do is apply pivot table. So first of all, we will select this whole data, select it. Now we'll go to insert section in the, in the insert tab, then in here, click here, pivot table and select pivot table now it will uh, the dialog box will appear and it will ask us to select a table or range for, in which we have to apply the pivot as we've already selected that table so uh, nothing uh, no nothing uh, should be done more and now it has asked uh, asked us to choose where you want the pivot table uh, pivot table report to be placed in this worksheet or should we you want excel to open a new worksheet so what we want is we want a new worksheet so we'll select the new worksheet click ok and the pivot table has be, has been created by excel in a new worksheet whose name um, uh, sheet number is sheet number 7 so this is the pivot table I, and pivot table can do a lot of fun, lots of functions so our question was to select the sales value to tell the sales value of every uh, manager of section A so first of all we will select section from this tab here from this feed we will select section and we will tick mark it dead now what Excel has done it has placed every section in a different row section A section B and section C now what we'll do is we will select sales as we want to achieve the sales of this section we will click on sales and there you go it excel has uh, or has uh, shown all the sales of uh, the relevant section so it was very easy now uh, let's move to something complex something more uh, different now what we want is uh, in s uh, with the sales value we want to mention the name of the managers as well so what we are going to do is first of all untick the sales value now we want we will take a uh, section now it uh, we will uh, take name and now microsoft excel has placed uh, every member of that section uh, in it group uh, the group a contains adil danish hafoor yawar zishan group b contains bilal hamad jameel sakib and zaman group c contains haseeb junaid kamran rehan and shahid now we want to achieve their sales value we'll click on sales and there you go it has applied all the uh, it is it is showing all the sales here's the uh, sales of group a and here are the individual sales of each manager in group a yeah the sales uh, the uh, 
total uh, sales of group B and here are the individual sales of each manager there uh, and uh, same applies with group C as well and here's the grand total of the sales that we have achieved so that is what pivot table can do it is a very uh, simple function it's a very easy to use function it's a very important function as well I uh, hope uh, you have learned to use pivot table today I hope you have learned what is pivot table and how does it work in Microsoft Excel and hope that you have liked this video as well if you did do share it with your friends and uh, uh, do like it as well thank you